I really don't know how much more ridiculous and hypocritical the Pope can be. How about this one? How about the fact that he just nodded, literally tipped his hat to abortion? I don't care what anybody says, but when the man has a meeting with the President of the United States and the President of the United States asks him if he should continue taking communion, despite the fact that he is pro-abortion and the Pope says, yeah, no problem, go ahead, everything is okay. Let me just simply say this. You're a hypocrite. Don't ever call yourself pro-life again. You have the single greatest opportunity to go to a person who you say is a Catholic, you call him a good Catholic, Mr. Pope, and yet you will not even take a moment to address what is a brutal and cardinal sin? Wow, something is very wrong. And it is interesting because when this guy gets pressed and he gets asked why he's overlooking this, why he's not even really uh, addressing it or turning his head the other way, he's talking about the bigger issue, which is, of course, the planet that he worships. Days are getting dark, and this guy is most definitely being a very, very good example of what a false prophet looks like. This is nothing but evil. When his own priests are running around and saying that men like Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and all these other people should be excommunicated because of their love, literally their bloodlust to kill babies, and yet he still supports them, there's a huge problem, folks. This pope has officially lost his mind. He lost his mind a long time ago, but this is crazy, and we need to open our eyes for what's really going on because there are more babies that have already died at the hands of all of these murderers than there will ever be because of Mother Earth. Let's get our priorities straight and look at what's really going on. The pope is an evil man, and that's the reality of it. We need to stand up for these little babies that are getting killed to the tune of 3,000 a day in this country alone. If he wants to stand up for human rights, he needs to be a real man of God and talk about the real issues. Instead, he chooses to continue to be a fake who wants to look for the support of the final Antichrist when he comes around the corner so that he could be the false prophet. That's exactly what it looks like. This is ugly stuff, folks. And this man needs to be called out for what he actually is. We, as the body of Christ, need to be the people that speak out for truth and point this out because the lives of these babies are special. They should be defended. It's the greatest civil rights issue of our time and it is the greatest human rights issue of our time. It's time to stand up and not back down. God bless you.